Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Trending Thursday. My name is Glenn Tompkins, Senior Instructor here at Vector Vest. Glad to have you here. Glad to be here. Just think about it this way. One more day until the weekend. Craig is here. If you can hear me, uh, let me know in the chat, preferably with VV Nation, and let me know that I am coming across loud and clear. Craig is here, who normally watches on the replay, but he's here live today. I'm glad to have you here. He comes from the land down under where women do something in the men's thunder. Can you, can you hear, can't you hear the thunder? You better run, you better take cover. Yeah. And, and Craig, I don't want a Vegemite sandwich, just to let you know. All right. Jay says, yeehaw, Cowboy Glenn, yippee Kaye. So hopefully everybody saw that I am initiating a new uh, hashtag, hashtag, Western Wednesday VV, and I already know how I'm going to come dressed up next Wednesday. Joey's going to wear a hat, aren't you, Joey? I have a hat on now. You have a hat on? No, not just that kind of hat. You got to wear a cowboy hat. You got to wear So Western Wednesday is going to be the new thing, the new theme, and uh, we're going to see if we get it to go viral. So here we go. All right. With that, a lot of stuff going on in the market today. Interesting market. Some companies hit earnings and went up gdp came in better than expected but still lower on a quarter over quarter there's a lot there's a lot of things a lot of moving parts in the market right now so natasha thank you for being here i appreciate that i appreciate that so you know what i'm going to do uh if you're brand new to the channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button uh, don't forget to hit the like button as well, especially if it was worth it for you to be here today. But most of all, I'm trying to get, we had 166 people. I'm trying to get up to 300 people. Folks, you got to share this link. Share this link on your social circles. Let's get to 300 people today. Let's go see what's going on. All right. Craig says, still a yellow, a lot of yellow in the color guard. I'm with you on that. Uh, and that's why as I look at the market moving up today, as you can see, as the market is moving up today, I am very cautious about this move. Uh, I still think the market's got a lot of downside left because of a lot of things of which I talked about on the channel. But the market's moving up and with that you know take what the market gives you i'm not going to be afraid to tell you that take it if the market is giving you an opportunity to make money do so test them hit earnings and it was up as much as 10 percent today john i did see that uh tesla is going to be a stock in the news stocks for me today um uh, how many you know i keep asking the question how many of you have seen the video that i put out on tesla i still think that tesla is a good stock i need elon musk to get away from the twitter highlights and get back into uh, Tesla, put his energies back into Tesla. So I still like Tesla. I still like Tesla. And I did the video on Tesla. You know, Joey and I did a poll yesterday. How many of you watch our 6 p.m. videos? And it's interesting. It's interesting that a lot of people don't even know that on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Fridays, we have a 6 p.m. video we put out every 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 week on those three days. Uh, and the biggest thing you need to do, you need to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon so that you'll be alerted to when those videos come out. You'll also be alerted to when we do live streams. So if you want to see everything that we do outside of just these live streams, we put a lot of great informational videos out three times a week. Uh, I've got three streams a week. So this channel is really dedicated to you guys and helping you guys to make money in the market. That's what we do. All right. So JDT says 143 puts on what? On Tesla? Uh, you know something? Instead of buying the Tesla stock long or, or trying to uh, short it, um, how about looking at TSLL for Tesla long and TSLQ for Tesla short. That's a less expensive way to take advantage of Tesla. Really, really is. Daily updates like sports are never enough. Oh, uh, well, <laughs> I like that, Craig. Well, you, you know, we gotta, we, we're, we, we're doing the best that we can. Oh, you, that's right, JT. You're on my, you're on my Twitter with Apple. There you go, my friend. There you are. Um, Tesla is becoming a cash cow. However, on the self-driving front, Mercedes won the race in becoming the first automaker to offer level three conditionally automated driving in Nevada. 
nothing wrong with that. Listen, the whole EV space is a hot space, still has been. I just need for some of these EVs to be able to clear on the deliveries for the demand. Apple has weakness versus long-term trend at 143. Listen, JD, I'm not trading Apple right now. I'm in other stocks, but you know, everybody knows that my favorite stock in the whole wide world is Apple, but you got to know when to hold them, know when to fold them, know when to walk away and know when to run. You know why? You never count your money while you're sitting at the table. There'll be time enough for counting when the deal is done. So if Apple has got the weakness, played to the downside, JD is making a lot of money on my Twitter page, uh, showing up on all that stuff. So I see all your posts, my friend. And then if you do want to follow me on Twitter, go to find at Glenn Tompkins Jr. If you want to follow me on Twitter, I also tweet out a lot of stuff every day. Folks, we're trying to make sure that we give you the stuff that you need. So a lot of green today. Uh, in the jockey club today, our derby tool was telling us a different story. I'm not going to show the derby tool in here because it's, you know, the people who pay for it, pay a lot of money for it. So, but it was interesting. How many of you are part of the derby type of one? How many of you that are in here are part of the derby type of one? All right. Um, we were looking at the market and the derby was telling the rest of the story. Very, very interesting. Uh, the tools that we have within the vector vest software to help you guys make better decisions in the market. So with that being said, all I say is take this with a grain of salt and looking at the MTI, can I, can, will it show me that? Looking at, there it is. Looking at the MTI, we are at a level of being overbought again. The market is looking for a top. Matt says, hey, Glenn, can you do a Canadian video soon? I want to know what's going on with the economy. You rock, Glenn. Maybe. I won't say no, but I'll say maybe. How about that, Matt? I will say maybe. Um, Bill, Tesla is my baby and I'm not in it. What do you think about the market? Do I wait for a pullback? It just went from 101 to 156. So let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. Let's go move into the software. Where am I at? Let's go move into the software and let's go to the market timing graph. Here's the market timing graph looking at the vector vest composite over the last three months. Uh, we broke through two levels of resistance on the composite. We're moving higher, definitely a trend line coming up from a level of support. So JDT thinks that, you know, this could be a, 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 a bull trap. I think that with a lot of things that are moving on in the market, he could be right. But if the market is giving me the opportunity to make money, I'm going to do it. Notice I put the three and the eight exponential moving averages on the vector vest composite as well. Coming off of a level of resistance, pulling back. How about the three and the eight never crossed down and still moving up? A little bit of indecision today, a little wick at the top, more wick at the bottom, showing me some more buying pressure as well. But with that being said, look at the MTI above the level of 1.5. The market is looking for a top. Look at it here. Right about here, when the MTI got to that level, what did we do? We pulled back. We bounced. Once the MTI got to a level of looking for a bottom, went up, 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 up. Right here, above that level of 1.5, the market pulled back, not for long, but did pull back. And we're in the same scenario again. The market should, by way of being overbought, should pull back. Mark is here. Good afternoon, Mark. So um, Brazilian stocks are outperforming U.S. equities like in, in the early 2000s all over again. Back then, this trend was magnified by China's demand for commodities as it built up its economy. I think that the Fed is still going to continue to raise interest rates. The Fed is still going to be hawkish. Earnings are not as bad as I thought that they could be in the first quarter. Some big companies are missing, but more so companies are meeting or exceeding their earnings expectation the market is up yet a lot of good stocks are red bill and that's what the derby was showing us this morning in the jockey club that we did have a lot of stocks a lot of bearish searches that were making money even in a definite up day in the market does vector vest have folders or searches by country yes for china as a matter of fact let's go to the viewers tab because that's a great question let's go down to the special watch lists what do we have? We have China. All right. We do have Kaching China. We have Israel um, ADRs. We do have Brazilian stocks. We do have Indian stocks. All right. So that's to answer your question, Craig. 
which is a great question. We do have watch lists for different countries. Oh, no, Cigar, don't start him. Don't get Mark started. No, no, no. Don't get, you're going to put Mark, you're going to get Mark put into timeout, Cigar. I know you two are friends. You're going to get him put into timeout. All right, so... I as well think it's a bull trap. I think that the market has more forces to push it down than to give it legs to move higher. Mark says, don't start asking about watch list folders. That's right, Mark, don't, don't start. So that's a little bit off topic, but I wanted to be able to answer the question on the fly for those, because Craig, you're probably not the only person that had that question. You're, not, you're probably not the only one. So we do have in our special watch list stocks from different countries. They have Vector Vest for down under. You know, we 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 have Vector Vest Australia. We do have uh, Vector Vest Australia. All right, let's get back to my viewers for today. Watch list viewer, go back to the markets. This is what's going on in the market today. Up day. Uh, all of the major indices are up. The Nasdaq leading the charge to the upside. The VIX is down. Man, back down to 18, which means that there's not a heightened level of volatility in the market people are now less fearful in the market which is very interesting i would be a little bit more fearful knowing that the fed's going to have to come out and, and make a determination on what he's going to do with interest rates a lot of people think he's only going to do a quarter basis points even if he does even if he only does 25 basis points then he's still raising interest rates don't lose sight of that all right i think and this is my own opinion he needs to raise the freaking rate up to uh 100 basis points if we're at four and a quarter at that time he'll be at five and a quarter he'll be near to the terminal rate that he said he wanted to be with which is at five percent um so i say just do it just do it but the economy won't hurt won't like it the market won't like it and the market will hate him and the market will crash and blah 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 blah, blah. pull the band-aid off Pull the Band-Aid off. Uh, Salt Shaker is asking JDT, what are, your, what are your expiration on the Apple puts? You know something? If I'm going to be a buyer of a put, I'd go out at least 30 to 45 days. I'd go out 30 to 45 days. I know Drew. What did Drew say? Hey, Mark. Uh, I know Drew, but I missed the move and I feel sick. Uh, I'll swing trade Tesla. Bought some at 102 and sold half at 160. That was a, that was a good move, Drew. That was a good move. So Tesla's going to be in my list today. All right. Um, so that's what's going on in the market. I showed you what's going on in the market timing graph. Let's talk about what some news is that's moving the market. And real quick, I'll go through these. U.S. GDP grows in the fourth quarter. Weekly jobless claims fall. I think that because of the GDP, people are more positive in the market. GDP growth uh, is growth is past its peak. Hmm. What comes next is key for the Fed. That's a barren story. Here's Tesla. Tesla pop on better than feared earnings results demand outlook. Tesla shares rose as much as 11% Monday, uh, Thursday, continuing an overnight gain driven by optimistic sentiment from CEO and Elon Musk. Better than feared, wrote uh, Canaccord Genuity analyst uh, George Gian Giannarek. In a Wednesday night note, Canaccord maintained its buy rating at 275. How about this one? Comcast beats expectations even as broadband growth slows. Peacock racks up the losses. I need to probably look at what all of the streaming services are going through right now. Are they losing customers or are they gaining customers? But in my thinking, I'm thinking that they're going to be losing customers because if inflation is a problem and affecting people's pockets, they're probably going to be getting rid of their streaming services. How about Chipotle? Seeks to hire 15,000 restaurant workers. In the midst of everybody or a lot of people, especially a lot of big companies laying off people, uh, Chipotle, what, what do I call this? Chip, Chipotle? Uh, Chipotle? I call it Chipotle sometimes. Uh, is hiring 15,000 people. What do you think about that? Good, bad, or indifferent? Interesting. Interesting that this company, now this company is a is a food company, but they trade at a lot of freaking money. F oh, oh, you know, uh, well, it's like only $49. I thought it was a lot more money than that. It says $49. No, it's plus $49. What is it trading at? Uh, CMG. I'm going to look at that in a second. I thought it was super, super expensive. 
Uh, Chipotle has good food. I, listen, I like the food, but the company is trading way higher than I think it should for a restaurant. Do you get free food if you work there? Craig, that's a good story, a good question, but I don't know. Uh, how about this? Southwest lost $800 million due to holiday travel meltdown. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money coming out of their bottom line. And that's when they were canceling flights over the holidays and all that kind of stuff. Man, that that's a big hit. That's a big hit. And it's probably going to affect the stock adversely. Uh, today, it's down like 4%. But, and, and Yahoo's got a bullish pattern on it. Mm, we'll see. All right. App Harvest. This is a stock that I personally like. I did get back into it. Uh, anytime I own a stock, in a, in, when I talk about a stock, I will let you know that I own it. App Harvest begins commercial shipments from First Harvest at New Richmond, Kentucky, 60-acre high-tech indoor farm. That's the big thing of what I like about App Harvest. The, the company grows food year-round, all kinds of food, all kinds of food. Look at that. Is Chipotle really trading at $1,600? That's a lot of money for a burrito. To go get a burrito, that's a lot of money. All right, should we expect the American stock market isn't going to break out very soon? I am bullish. You know, as I looked at, let's go back to the program real quick and go back to uh, the vector vest graph. Um, put this back. I am um, put this back on program. Um, let's go look at a six-month graph of the market, a one-year graph of the market, a five-year graph of the market. Do I think that, the, look at this solid level of resistance on the composite. Broke down, stopped there, went above, came back down, stopped there, stopping here now. The market's having a hard time breaking above this level of 57.87 on the composite and staying there. Do you see that? Who asked me that question? Uh, Dan, does that make sense? The market is having a hard, terrible time getting out of these two levels of resistance. After it was rocking and rolling, rocking and rolling, cup and handle. Well, here's the cup. I don't quite see a handle yet. Uh, could be. But look at this range bound for the market. Let me zoom in. Let me zoom in. What time frame is this? One year. Look at the range bound on the market. It's having a really hard time breaking above that level of resistance. And then I've got another headwinds of resistance as well. So um, what do I think? I think that there's a lot more forces to keep the market down than to keep the market bolstered up. Does that make sense, Dan? And I'm just looking at the data and I'm looking at what's going on in the current market's conditions. All right, what did Roger say? Roger says, hi, Marie. What else did Roger say? Everybody's talking to everybody. Uh, JDT, I think you're right that uh, CMG has been way overvalued for quite some time. But I do like App Harvest and another stock. How about another stock that I traded and I talked about? Catalyst Pharmaceuticals completes the acquisition of U.S. rights to that company, right, which is going to help them to grow. The completion of the acquisition marks an important step in the expansion and diversification of our portfolio of marketed products adds a second complementary commercial product that will further strengthen Catalyst's financial position through increased revenue scale and is expected to be accretive. <laughs> Chairman of CEO of Catalyst. So I like I like the stock that it's been moving and we'll go look at a graph of it. This stock just doesn't want to stop going up as well. All right, let's go to the viewers tab. Let's look at the big news. So here's the stocks that I just talked about in the news. All right, as they pop up, their CPRX down today, 2.93%. But fundamentally sound, as a pharmaceutical, you don't always find that. It's got good upside potential and it's got a good safety. It's just down today and it's a sell recommendation. So it's more of a speculative play and it's undervalued. Now, talking about under or overvalued, look at Chipotle, way overvalued. It does have good upside, decent upside, decent um safety. It is a buy recommendation, JDT. It is in an uptrend. Um, let's scroll over. Fundamentally, they've got positive earnings and they grow it at a clip of 23% a year. 
Why is it overvalued? Because a lot more people are willing to pay a premium to own it. So just because it's overvalued, JD, doesn't mean that it's a bad stock. It just means that people are paying a premium to own the stock. But fundamentally, JD, it's there. It's fundamentally good, not by a lot, but it is good because their values are above one. The VST is above one. It is a buy recommendation. So Robert says TSLL, both TSLA uh, leverage stocks. So it's, I thought it was TSLL and TSLQ for um, um, Tesla. All right. Money supply growth has gone negative, you know, but no, but it doesn't seem like the American investor understands that. So I call this um, irrational exuberance. I do call the up move in the market exact irrational exuberance. And especially when we keep getting to this level and we can't break through and stay through. The bulls are just trying to push the market higher. But as I mentioned time and time again, I think there's a lot more forces to push the market down than to keep the market higher. Does anybody disagree with that? All right. Type a one if you agree with that. Type a two if you disagree with that. Type a one. If, and I want everybody to chime in on that. Even if you don't chat in, type a one if you agree with that analysis type of two if you don't, but the people are still trying to push this market higher. The vector vest system is telling us that we are at a level of the market is being overbought. You look at stocks like Chipotle, people are piling in on it because um, they are, they, 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 they're willing to pay a premium for the stock. All right, two, never short a dull market. I'm not telling anybody to short anything. I, I'm going to tell you to take what the market gives you. If the market is giving you the opportunity to make money in the market, take it. All I want you to do is start to look prior past, past here. Look further out here. Look, look further than past here. All right. So that, that's all I got. And Heikam says too, only a couple of people said too. I'm, I'm of the mindset that we still have more downside. Um, love with the $800 million cost of, Business that happened over the holidays, feeling the effect down 3% today. Sensionics. I had a story on Sensionics. I forgot where it went. Um, Sensionics did something. Sigh. I don't remember what it is. I don't own Sensionics right now, but there was a story on it that caught my attention. Uh, it's a lower dollar stock that's way overvalued. It's, it's, this is definitely a speculative play. Definitely. Say again. No, that's not where I found it. I don't think that's where I didn't find it there. I had to do some digging to find the news on this because there's not a lot of news that's out there. And when was this? This is 21 days ago. I found something else. I forgot where I, it's probably in my teams. Teams trending Thursday. Where's my Sensionic story? I, I swore I had a Sensionic story. Um, maybe I didn't. Southwest, Chipotle, Comcast. I swore I had a story, but I guess I didn't. I guess I didn't. So that's on me. But Sensionics, Robert says, Sensionics has a new product they are testing. I was asked to test this new sensor. You won't find it on. I found something, Robert. I found something, some news on it. Um... But I, I don't know what I did with it. I stored it somewhere. Well, anyway, it made my list. I, it did make my list. And I'm just, you know, keeping my eyes on it. And I want you to keep your eyes on it as well. It's only up 46 cents. But definitely, it is a speculative play, folks. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It is a speculative play. All right. Let's graph all of these stocks real quick. Put this on a three-month graph. Looking at the 3 and the 8. There's CPRX. I got back into it. I like the bounce. I like the bounce off of that level of support. I got into early. I got into it early. Um, the three hadn't crossed back above the eight. I did ride it all the way up through a lot of this. I did pull the trigger prematurely, but I got stops on it. I do have stops on it. The three, I like the bounce and I thought that the three was going to have an opportunity to move closer towards the eight. It didn't. So just be careful. I right, just, just be careful. 
Um, next one, look at that Tesla. Look at that Tesla move. As he's pulling more and more away from Twitter and getting closer and closer back to Tesla, I still like the stock. Jay put it on the VV Nation page. He put the video that I did on Tesla. Thank you for doing that, Jay. Craig says, got out of CPRX for a profit, haven't bought it again. I did buy in. Tevis generic will hurt uh, hurt CPRX. That was, I, saw, I saw a story on that. Uh, I didn't pull it up, but I did see a story about Teva and CPRX. I have a feeling a big downside is coming in a reverse to upside around St. Patrick's Day. It's going to be big for the rest of the year. Just my feelings. Bill, I, I can't call it when it's going to happen. I just feel that the market's going to have a lot more downside. I do like the play on, on um, earnings on Tesla. Nice gap up. Didn't fade the gap on big volume. I like the move. If I'm going to give you a profit target, if you're going to get in now, I'd give you up to 198.75. That's about 40 bucks. That's a good level of the former resistance. This could be a good opportunity to get in. The 3.8 crossed about two weeks ago. RT is moving and the volume is moving. I love the rising volume. Tesla may not be a bad play. Looking at Comcast, uh, Comcast has been moving from the bottom left to the top right. Um, and but this space is 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 taking a hit be careful with it notice that i've got a wick at the top no wick at the bottom showing me a little bit of selling pressure but the three and the eight if you're in it are still keeping you in it there it is a sixteen hundred dollars excuse me who wants to pay sixteen hundred dollars for a company that makes um <laughs> burritos Anyway, the stock's price is going up. Nice 3.8 crossover, RT crossover, stock's price is moving higher. Stopping at a level of resistance, though, sitting at 16.15.56. All right, so just keep your eyes on that. Uh, love, that's going to that's gonna hurt. That's going to leave a mark. $800 million lost uh, because of the debacle over the Christmas holiday. That's going to leave a mark. The 3.8 after, you know, prior to that, it was moving up, moving up, moving up. Big pullback, the 3 is below the 8. That's a lot of burrito bowls. I pre I agree with that. CPRX will defend its patents against Teva. Again, I saw the story. That's all I did. I saw the story. I didn't read into it. Apple is a rising wedge, false breakout. In this week's commodity report, I'm writing about Goldman's take on commodities. Oil will reach a... Oh, talking about commodities. Joey, go find the link. I just did a video on our YouTube page about commodity stocks for 2023. All right, I just did a video. Joey's going to find the video for me and he's going to put that link up there for the videos for commodities for 2023. And I'm no, with I'm you. Busy. Oh, you're busy. I'm oh, busy. all right. He's doing, so, he's doing other stuff. So this is what I got to say for you. I put the boo up there for you because you're supposed to, you work for me, Joey. Do you not realize that? Oh, now you want to be quiet about it, right? No, they never, they never told me that. Yeah, you work for me. I almost made bank on Tesla. I had a call order in overnight at fourteen fifty, but the gap blew right past my bid. Would have made about five k in ten minutes. Ah, I got nothing to stop against uh, gaps, folks. All right, so be careful with love. Again, that eight hundred million dollars uh, down is going to hurt them. Sensionics, nice level of support. Sitting at a buck oh seven. This is a, a lower dollar, a more speculative play. But let's see if look at that. Look at the wicks. Look at the wicks. Look at the levels. Nice level of support. I'd like to see if the three can go back above the eight. Glenn, your call on CVX, not bad. Listen, it ain't just about me. It's about the system. There it is. Joey put the link up there for the video. Is gold, lithium, and uranium the way to go? I looked at six different commodities in that video. I looked at six different commodities in that video and oil was one of them. So go check out that video if you want to as well. Thank you, Joey. I appreciate it. All right. So there's the link for the video. All right. Let's close out of that. So now with, with what's going on from a trending Thursday perspective, let's go see if we can find out what industries are on the rise. All right. Delta searches industries. Let's go see what industries are on the rise. All right. Wiki wacky market, look at that. Look at that. Crypto 10 days ago had a RT delta of 392%. Look at it now. Crypto is cooling off. 
And I've been saying that if you're going to take crypto, it is a speculative play. But look how hot it was 10 days ago and look how hot it is over the last 10 days. Crypto is cooling off. If you are holding some crypto stocks, just be careful. How about software desktop? 12 and a half percent RT Delta change in Delta uh, 10 days ago, 53 percent change in Delta over the last 10 days. Let's go see what stocks are in there. Let's go see what stocks are in there. Um, six stocks are in here, but they ain't coming up. Sigh. What happened? I click view the stocks in the industry group. Uh, yeah, it ain't happening. Let's do it this way. There's a different way to do it. Here's the six stocks in that industry group. What's moving? Uh, they did that stuff. Layout. Did they change my whole thing, Joey? Maybe when they fixed all your stuff yesterday. Okay. okay it's reset. Ooh, there it is. That looks better. All right, so... Microsoft is in here. How about that? Microsoft is moving. How many of you saw my video on chat GPT? That could be a big type of one in the room. That could be a big mover for um, Microsoft folks. That could be a big mover for Microsoft. AI is on the run again. Someone said that I should put a AI watch list in uh the software i might i might have to see if i can get angie to do a, a ai watch list um but that whole chat gpt investment could move could move um uh, microsoft robert says yes i loved your chat ai on microsoft there you go all right so um that's what's moving in there keep your eyes on that what happened where's where's my air oh yeah what is up with that Oh, let me move this over. No, that's not it. Why can't I close it? Yeah. All right. Let me have to do this a different way. Um, I can't close it, Joey. Um, you can't close up the list. Nope. Alt tab. There it is. There's the X. Now I see the X. That's interesting. I don't know why I couldn't do that. What other industries are on the rise? So we know that uh, Microsoft is moving because software desktop is moving. What else is 10 to 21 ETF currencies? Let's go see if I can find out in somehow or another when it comes up. I don't have the X to cross out, but I'll, I'll fix that. Um, what's moving in here? Not much. There's 21 stocks in here. Let's go see what's moving up the most. Man, not a wow. What is up with my system going through all of this? <sighs> Craig says, even Brian D'Amico talked about AI, Glenn. Um, so I, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of AI. I like it. And I did a video about it, why I like it. But I'm eerily optimistic about it because I've seen movies like Terminator. I'm very eerily optimistic about AI. I don't want the machines to take over the world. Bit IQ or Bit Q 95, Bit O, interesting. All right, so... I'm going to come back for, down to the bottom. Maybe I can get the X. There's the X. All right. But this is a great way. And I made a search. The search is already in the system is for relative timing, Delta 10 day dis, uh, dis, uh, descending. But then I put in an extra line 10 days ago, industry relative timing, Delta 10 day greater than zero. So all of these had to have positive deltas and RT over the last 10 days. But I'm looking at, 10 days ago compared to the last 10 days, what's going on? And you'll notice that a lot of these are moving down. Another indication that the market has more downside if I can't find industries that are moving. John says, the world isn't ready for AI Glenn and, and AI Joey. I did, <laughs> Joey took a short of my AI Glenn and put it up on the, on the uh, channel. Interesting. All right, let me get back into the viewers so we can get an idea of some industries that are moving but as i look through the list a lot more industries are going down over the last 10 days than they were 10 days ago that's another indication that the market could have some downside ema squeeze candidates so stan heller's got something called the ema squeeze where he uses a 5 8 and 13 ema crossovers along with some 
things like relative timing in a search. I won't be able to show you the search because it's a benefit of being part of the swing trade coaching. You get the search. So at least I can run the search and find some candidates for you. So EMA squeeze, I do have a layout for the EMA squeeze. Uh, the 5, 8, and 13 graph layouts. Where is it at? EMA squeeze. There it is, the 5, 8, and uh, 5, 8, 13, and I got a 50-day moving average of price. Look at the move. All of the, the stock is above all of those moving averages. A little wick at the top. Be careful with AIT. I like the, I wonder if that was an earnings play. Yes, it was an earnings play. As you can see, earnings is on here. Let me move this over a little bit. It was an earnings play, but a little bit of selling. Be careful with that. What else hit the EMA squeeze? WBS, that was also an earnings play. Big wick at the top though. Nice open candle, but big wick at the top. Still above all five, sorry, all four of the moving averages. This one I like, Murphy Oil. Earnings play, very little wick at the top. Very little wick at the top. I like the move on this. Don't let them plant an AI chip in your hand, Glenn, when they tell you you can't buy or sell stocks without it. Psh, listen, they're not, I'm not going to do that. I let them put it in Joey's hand though. Joey, you would you would let them put a chip in your hand, right, Joey? Joey, you let them. I got, I got one that opens my car door and the uh, door at the office. Nice. See, he's got it in his hands. There you go. All right. So there's still gaps in chat. B. Yes. So, Craig, when I did the video, one of the things that I did state in the video is I asked it a question three different times. It gave me the answer three different ways with the same root fundamental stuff but it did change it and you know something uh craig that's the that's the upside if you want to call it to ai is that it learns it learns each time the question is asked and it's able to adapt to give you the answer but it's still scary so i scary because i you know from the the whole chat gpt thing i think it's a great way to start off looking into a topic I wouldn't take everything that it says as gospel. You agree with that, Craig? I, I wouldn't take everything that it says as gospel, but I think it's a great way to start up a conversation on a topic. And I like that it chats with you. It really does. It's a chat bot. It does chat with you as opposed to um, um, typing into something to Google and getting a list of things. If you got laid off today, how long could you go before needing to find another job? Uh, I'd be fine, Dan. I, I would be fine. My thing is I wanted to retire five years ago when I turned 50. I'm about to turn 56 in a, in a couple of months. I do this because I love talking to you guys and teaching people. Not only that, there's only but so much golf that you can play. All right, so that's the way I look at it. How much time would I need to go before I need to find another job? I'd be fine. And then believe it or not, I've met some people on this, you know, um, whether it's at the Tampa Two Day or just in person. I think the majority of the people that are here, many people that are here are probably in the same boat, Dan. Honestly. All right, if we're trading in the market for the most part, whether it's with vector vest or whatever else, I think many of us have a good, have a good, we're in a good space. Not everybody, all right? Don't get me wrong, not everybody. But I'd like to help to get everybody up there, all right? I, I, I would love to get everybody up there, but a lot of it is you got to have faith in the system and what it does. And then you got to do a lot of work like JDT does in regards to his analysis. Folks, we try to make it easier. It ain't simple to, to invest in the market, but we try to make it easier, all right? Uh, Craig, I am using chat AI for my pro tennis and travel inquiries. I don't trust it for anything financially based. I got you. And again, I, you know something that information when I ask about, hey, what's the hottest stock subject right now? It only goes back to 2021. It can't go any, it can't go any further than 2021, which is interesting too. Uh, JD says, I need a job because I obviously know way more. Uh, 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 that's not a nice thing to say, JT that keep giving out target prices. Don't say that, everybody, be nice to everybody, JT, JD, be nice to everybody. All right, here's another one, Wingstop. 
This was not an earnings play, but a lot of uh, it, it met the criteria being above all in the moving averages. I'd be very, very careful with that, even though it met the criteria. I like AGO. Look at that coming off of this downtrend. Looks like it broke through the downtrend. I like that it's above all of the moving averages. No, very little wick at the top. AGO, keep your eyes on that. The EMA squeeze found it. And the last one is HITI, high tide and healthcare marijuana. High tide. The tide is high and I'm moving on. I want to be your number one. It's a marijuana stock, as a matter of fact. I do like the upward move coming off a level of support. I don't like the wick at the top, but it is above all of the moving averages. Uh, why retire if you enjoy the work you are doing now? I worked till I was 75 and only retired then because the company sold to a larger corp. VP, I'm, I'm with you. I love doing this stuff. I love doing this stuff. I don't always like working with Joey. Actually, I love working with Joey. He's sometimes though he's a diva. Sometimes though he's a diva. So at the at at the at the at the Tampa two day, David um, David Paul talked about a search that he had called the DEW Swingers, where he was looking at. Let's go to the unit search tool. Uh, it was in his slides. Tampa 2023, David Paul. Um, where is it at? Where is it at? I can't see all this stuff. DEW Swingers. There he is. And in this, he's looking at CI greater than or equal to 1.2 stocks that have price growth persistence. And the average 50 uh, day moving average of the stock is going to be over 200,000 shares, but it's sorted by CI times growth. All right. So I went through, I looked at some stocks in here for you, graphed them all. I'm going to put them onto a different layout. I'm going to put them on to my swing trade layout. Remember, because this is more of a swing trade, right? Where the heck is it? Sigh. Swing. Where I'm now looking at a 20-day exponential moving average, put on a three-month graph. Wow. MPC, love the move. Bottom left, top right undervalued rising uh, rising earnings rising dividend i like this play i like this stock i cannot lie next one sqm i like the move coming off of a low above the 20 day breaking through several levels of resistance love the earnings per share rising dividend as well and undervalued um val now this one is overvalued but i like the price bottom left top right what i don't like even though it's above the 20 day exponential moving average i'm not liking the fall in volume but i'm not going to fight the tape be careful with it down day to day i wouldn't buy it today but it's definitely above the 20 day exponential exponential moving average Hess broke through two levels of resistance as it's moving up off of this low earnings per share is there new high this is a three month graph new high over the last three months Big buying pressure coming in, S-H-E-S. -E My audio is messed up. I thought I heard that Joey was a diva. Yep, Joey's a diva. Joey's a diva. Dan says, wife, why are you always giggling to yourself? Me? Leave me alone. Wow. How about Steve says, I bought SQM in a downtrend, RT45 breakout. R um, what did I have? Did I have SQM in there? I do. You know something? I'd love to see it take out the three-month high, but I like the move currently. And it's undervalued. I do like the move currently and it's undervalued. Next one, LNTH. Now, um, this one's trading right at a level of resistance. It is above the 20-day. It is undervalued. It is now moving from a, a sell to a hold. I, I'm I for this one, I'm not fully, fully bore in on this one. It is moving sideways, but it did meet the uh the criteria for what I was looking for. All right. So five stocks for you to keep your eyes on from a DEW swingers position. How about David uh, Paul's search to bow tie uses five different moving, uh, three move, moving averages, a 21, 55 and an 89. Right. So I've got a search sort of like it because I can't. It says David Paul bow tie sort of. I got a 21. I got a 50, not 55. And I got a 78, not 89. All right. So it's sort of his search. But when you look at the graph of it, oops, when you look at the graph of it, uh, view the stock graph, and I can put on the bow tie layout. 
All right, and I've got a, a bow tie layout that I have. There it is. And the bow tie layout looks at a 21. Let me move this over. It looks at these real moving averages, a 21, a 55, and an 89. All right, so with that being said, put this on a three-month graph. Look at that. As of today, the stock is above all three moving averages. How about, that's the only stock that I found from the search, CRSR, Corsair, trading at $15.76, very little wick at the top, but this is from David Paul's Tampa, uh, Tampa 23, Tampa 2 day at 23, 22. Um, it met the criteria, and I do like the upward trend on it. I, I told you that in every live stream, we're going to be touching on some things that came from the Tampa 2 day. Glenn's picks. What do I have for picks? Oh, Dan, you know what my picks are for you this week? Again, commodities. So my commodities that I have for you are copper, um, the gold bugs, gold, uranium, lithium, oil, and natural gas. All right, those are my those are my 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 um, commodities going into the year 2023. Talking about this, how many? How many of you have, and type a one or a two in the room, how many of you watch our 6 p.m. videos on Monday, Tuesdays, and Friday? Type a one. If you don't or have not watched those videos on Monday, Tuesday, and Friday, type a two in the room. All right? I'm going to give that a moment to settle in. Type a one if you watch our 6 p.m. videos. Type a two if you don't watch our 6 p.m. videos. And there's a reason why I'm asking. There's a reason why I'm asking. See, nobody's, no, there it is. I'm about to say, nobody had the intestinal fortitude, the type of two in the room. I'm not, this is not, this is a non-judgment zone, folks. This is a non-judgment zone. So <clears throat> the reason why I ask the question is because, where's my 6 p.m. videos? YouTube videos. I did a video. I did a video on... My stocks, best dividend stocks for 2023. No, where are they? Stock list for 2023. Here's my stock list that I did for 2023. I, it was one of the first videos we did. I got a shipping company. I got a furniture. I got a, um, I do have a crypto in here. I've got a biotech. I've got lithium. I've got something for the EV space, looking at charging. App Harvest, I still love that stock. For computer protection, Zscaler and SLDP. I gave you nine stocks at the beginning of the year and it was done on 1-3 of 2023, all right? I wanna show you something, why it's important that if, uh, if you haven't already hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon. These are the stocks as of the day that I did this, the, uh, the, the video. Okay. I want to show you something. Look at what these stocks have done since that video. Look at what these stocks have done since I hit that video. 55.78%. That's not half bad. Now that doesn't mean, and, and for a lot of people out there that tell me, well, you know, I don't have a lot of money in, you know, in the market. I totally understand that. How about not even the penny stock? Three dollars and thirty-seven cents up to six dollars. Four dollars and thirty-two cents up to six fifty-one. Um, two dollars and thirty-seven cents up to three eleven, and so on and so forth. So that's why I ask you guys to you know to watch the six p.m. videos. You're watching this after the fact, but how you know? It, how many of you who did watch it took advantage of any of these stocks? It's type a me in the room. For those of you who did watch the video when it came out, how many of you took advantage of any of these stocks? Type a me in the room. All right. For those of you who are not subscribers, and again, I don't know how many people are going to say me, but for those of you who are not subscribers to the channel, it may be worth it for you to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon. And with me saying that, Roger's the only one that said me. Oh, there it is. There they are. They are coming in. For those people who are not subscribers to the channel, this could be a reason why you could be. So now, I don't know about the other ones. Let's go see commodity stocks. That was done on 120 
of 2023. I don't know what these did. Let's go take a look. That was not too long ago. It was, let's go see what they did since the video. Um, it's a quick test. Commodities. Look at that. Out of the nine stocks, eight of them are winners. One is even. Are we still outpacing the market? Folks, that was just done a few days ago as a 6 p.m. video. So these were not the commodities. These were the stocks to trade the commodities. All right. What else did I do? 123, the best dividend stocks. I think that that's a little bit too early for me to look at, you know, but let's do that. Let's just do it anyway. The best dividend stocks on 120. That was done earlier this week. Let's go see if it's, if it's doing anything. Quick test. It's down a little bit. So is the, uh, the market's up a little bit. These are down a little bit. A couple of them are up. But remember, this is just in one week, not even a full week. That's not half bad. Folks, there's a benefit. There's definitely a benefit to watching the videos that we put out. There's definitely a, a, a benefit. Commodities, what else do I have for 2023? Uh, AI stocks, that was just done. Well, let's go take a look. It was just done on 124. Let's go look at 124. And I'll do this update, and whether it's good or bad, I will do this update every so often. Look at that. Folks, that's just two days. And we're, and we're beating up the market. Not a lot, but we are. Look at that. Folks, again, this is done for the benefit. If you're not a subscriber to the channel, this could be a reason why you want to be a subscriber. These are all videos that we do throughout the week that you can at least take advantage of. All right. So um, I just wanted to do that. And I'm probably going to do a short video looking at all of these uh, for tomorrow. It's going to be a short video just to, to give people an understanding to give just to give people an understanding of what they're missing out if they're not subscribed to the channel and get the alerts to see these videos when they first come out. All right. So I think I'm done. I think I'm done. Yeah, I, th I think I am. All right. With that, thank you for being here, folks. How many likes did we get? 88. We did, still didn't get up to 300 people. We did get to over 200 people. I still need you guys to help to get these streams up to over 300 people and then over 400 people and then 500 people. If you guys really feel that this works and that this, that you're getting some useful information on it, invite people. All right. If you're brand new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon. And there it is. I got the, I got the over hundred likes and there you go. Way to go. I appreciate that. All right. It gave you a like Glenn because I brought up folders. Oh Lord. Thank you, Cigar, I think. Sigh. This is this is for you, Cigar. But because there you go, Roger. This stuff really works. I love all you guys for it. This is my air horn. Folks, this video is over. Uh adios arrivederci, chao, au revoir, sayonara, aloha to all my peeps in Hawaii. Bom dia, shalom, salam, namaste, yaaasu. Until the next time, folks, see ya. Yeehaw.